My name is Nora Calderon. I was born in Guatemala in 1970. I came to New Jersey in 1986. The U.S. was nothing like I was picturing in my mind. It's like, oh my, then it wasn't, this. everything got to me like, I miss Guatemala at that moment and I missed it for a while after that. I started to really rethink going back. And I was crying almost each day that I wanted to go back. There were like 200 of us. We were finding people in the way, and, and, and the more we walked, the more people we found, ladies with kids, this lady carrying like three kids, one in her arms, two like grabbing on her and just walking. And all of a sudden people would say, okay, hide, because we will hear the helicopter with the big lights. So you have to hide and don't move. But there were so many people that somebody dropped a little jacket that they had and I tripped on it. So I'm on the floor and these two guys come from behind me and just picked me up and kept running with me. And we get to the other side and he puts it in a house. He gets in a house and puts it in one room. So it's like about 40 people in that little room there. He started to see me in Tijuana. I noticed the way he was looking at me and the way he was acting towards me. And I wasn't feeling comfortable with the idea of him saying to me, no, you're not leaving with the group tonight. I knew if he left me there, nobody else was gonna be there. And uh, the guys, thank God, the group that were coming with me, we got so close because we were together for such a long time and we were basically taking care of each other in the way here. And the guys called him in and said, look, if she's not leaving, we're not leaving. So you decide. At eight o'clock, we climbed that big thing. He said, if, uh, if I stop the truck, don't even breathe. Don't talk, don't make noise, don't do anything and that was full of grease and we had to lay there and not move because it was a little it was another stop where the immigration was and he said some of them come up and try to look what i have so i get to my brother-in-law house and it's like 11 in the morning and i said okay i want to leave i want to go to new jersey this was my I, that's where i wanted to go because my sister was here uh, i've been here for 27 years so i came when i was 15. i see it like my kids are here my grandkids are going to be here, and that's part that I don't want to leave. People live, like, sometimes I think people live two lives. They want to be there, but they can't. So they have to be here because they have to. Not me. I never see it that way. Um, now I'm a housekeeper, bookkeeper, and legal assistant. That's my husband. <laughs> <laughs>